Life Stories of American Presidents presents The Story of John Adams, America's Second President. In 1770, all Boston seethes with anger as John Adams, an able young lawyer, defends the English officer accused of starting the Boston Massacre. Captain Preston's men opened fire only to defend themselves from the mob. This will cost Adams his career, but I've got to admire his courage. Preston is freed, but a new test awaits the fearless young lawyer. During the revolution, he is sent on a special mission to France. With his son, John Quincy Adams, he slips past the British fleet. Do you think we can outsail the British fleet, Father? We must, lad. My job is to get help from France. Without it, our country is doomed. Back home, after the revolution, Adams is elected as the nation's first vice president under Washington. In 1797, he becomes president. Almost at once, he faces a serious problem. This new French Revolution is a threat to us. Already, French men of war are attacking our ships. We should declare war on France. No! War would mean disaster. What we need is peace and time to build our growing trade and commerce. Again, Adam's special brand of unselfish courage shows itself. He wins his fight for peace and loses his fight for re-election. But he lives to see his son, John Quincy Adams, elected president in 1825. May he serve his country honestly and with courage. In 1826, when the aging Adams is asked to give a toast for the coming anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Yes, I'll give you a toast. Independence forever! Adams died that July 4th, exactly 50 years after the Declaration, which he helped to write.